Well, good morning. We've come out today to the Peak District, uh, specifically the area known as the Roaches. Now this is a, a fairly famous area around here, some lovely cliffs and trees at the base. And it's a very misty day, so the word atmospheric springs to mind. I'm shooting with my medium format film camera, both colour and black and white, so we're going to head off up the hill now and see what we can get. One of the things I want to shoot more of today is detail work around trees, rocks and such like. I enjoy the big scene as much as anybody but on days like today when the light is less than ideal for big shots I think it's better to concentrate on the sort of material which is fairly straightforward and easy and much more atmospheric. So that's what I'm going to try and shoot. Well, it's actually taken me the best part of an hour to get my first composition set up. But here I am, I've got a long shot of some trees. Beautiful recession with the mist. It's really layering it beautifully. And I'm shooting it with a short telephoto and only using black and white film. Just two frames, 15th of a second and an eighth of a second, just in case I need a bit more shadow detail. Well, I've just moved a couple of feet from where I took the last image of the trees in the mist and I have another shot of trees in the mist, uh, rather surprisingly, and I'm using the same lens, short telephoto, black and white film again, this time about half a second, it's a bit darker, and I'm also going to shoot it with Kodak Ektar, which is a colour negative film. Okay, I've uh, got myself another shot now. I'm using a standard lens and I've got the tripod set up quite tall. I'm actually going to be shooting over towards this rock and this set of bushes here. Don't want the sky in though at the top there, it's just going to be distracting. I'm going to use Kodak Ektar film and a bit of Provia slide because of the beautiful greens. For this rather lovely view behind me, I've gone for a wide angle shot, first wide angle of the day, and it's suiting it because there's some sky in there. Now because I'm shooting a Provia slide film with very little latitude, I've actually put a one stop soft grad on just to take the edge off the sky because I don't want it blowing out. I've also shot it with Ektar, let's see which one comes out best. Although I've been shooting some of the bigger uh, sort of open scenes today with rocks and trees, 
something I mustn't neglect is to just look around me. I mean, just look down here at these mosses on this lovely old tree trunk. It's absolutely fantastic. Now I've had to use a little uh, little close-up filter on my Bronica lens because I don't have a macro for this camera. I just wouldn't get the use out of it. But with this, I'm able to get really, really close, really, really close up, and I'm able to get all the detail in the bark and the moss. And I'm going to use my colour films for this, Ektar and Provia. Well, just look at this behind me, those rocks and that old tree stump sticking up. An absolutely perfect black and white composition if ever I saw one. So I shot it exclusively with FP4. I'm not going to bother with colour, there's absolutely none in the scene anyway. I'm just hoping this comes out to be really, really graphic. Right, it's reached that important time of the day when we have to decide what to shoot next. But before that, we're going to go and get something to eat and drink. Because without food and drink, you just lose enthusiasm. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Uh, so it's off to the cafe we go. Alright, we've come back out again now after lunch, which is very nice, and we've come back onto the top of the roaches. Fortunately, it's a little bit misty up here, although it is clearing down below. I have taken a few shots on the way up though, so you can see those here. Well, I think my persistence has paid off now. I have a shot, which is working quite well. A large rock formation in the background, a decent sized boulder in the front. Shot it in colour and black and white, to give me the choice later. It's going to be fairly low contrast though, so it may need a little bit of boosting to give some proper depth into the image later in Lightroom. Well, after a bit of a slog round the rocks, we come down a little bit lower. And the nice thing about this is well, we've got less mist, but we have enough to make it interesting still. So I've now got myself set up of a shot over towards the, the lake behind. And I've also got these lovely rocks in the foreground and a leading line of the wall. Shooting with a standard lens, and I'm going to use a bit of colour, a bit of black and white. Now with me having to shoot over these quite tall rocks, I've had to set my camera to maximum extension practically on the tripod so I have to use the eye level viewfinder on the Bronica. I'd rather use the waist level finder but absolutely no choice unless you're about seven foot six you have to actually use something which is going to work for you. Well, we're about half an hour off sunset now. I've not done much vlogging for the last hour because it was so busy. There were so many people here. I felt a bit self-conscious, to be honest. But I've been taking a few shots. Uh, you can see a few of them here.
Right, so with the last embers of light fading away, there is a possibility, if you look behind me, there's, it's actually not, not showing up very clearly, there's a possibility we're going to get a bit of light coming through. There may just be a crack in the horizon when something happens magically for us. So it's worth hanging around. I've got myself set up here with the Bronica and I'm going to be shooting with a standard lens. I've got some climbers in the foreground adding a bit of interest and I'm shooting with Provia and a two-stop soft grad. call it a day now it's been uh, it's been quite a long day I really enjoyed it not as long a vlog as I'd have liked but uh, hopefully some good shots I'll send off the rolls of uh, Provia and I'll send off the Ektar and I'll develop the FP4 myself I've enjoyed visiting here and I think so did the uh, Prince and Princess of Tech all those years ago and I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching this vlog and I'll see you again on the next trip thank you